Euphrates River is drying up. This was prophesied in the Bible. Whether this is the time for the complete drying of the great river remains to be seen. Nonetheless, with that comes the prospect of the prophecies of the book of Revelation, which speaks of four fallen angels bound in the river Euphrates. Revelation 9 and 14, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. We visited this topic before, and the mere mention of this eerie prospect was enough to drive fear into the hearts of the viewers. The video claiming to be sounds coming from beneath the river Euphrates was not met with mere skepticism, but in many cases, outright attack. Why? Because people generally attack what they don't comprehend. The thought of these four angels loose in the earth is terrifying because they will have the power to slaughter the third part of men. Still, there are some things to consider. Some think that the Euphrates drying up is not prophecy, but because of the spite and greed of men blocking and hoarding its water. That may be so, but the Bible never says how the river will dry. I think it will be the act of man. As a matter of fact, I believe that humanity will be largely responsible for the liberation of these four fallen angels. Here's the disturbing thing. These are not the only prisoners from the underworld that will be loosed. The Bible tells us that the bottomless pit will be opened and that strange locust-like creatures will emerge. These will torment mankind. They will have a ruler over them, Revelation 9 and 11. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue has his name Apollyon. Mankind will be responsible for the unleashing of Abaddon, an angel of destruction, upon this world. How will man do this? As knowledge increases and we continue to tamper more and more with the fabric of the universe, we are threatening to create doorways into different dimensions. Unfortunately, doorways work both ways. Man has tried this before with the building of the Tower of Babel. The tower was not a tower as we know it, but biblical scholars believe that it was actually a ziggurat. A ziggurat is a pyramidal tower consisting of a number of stories and having about the outside a broad ascent winding round the structure, presenting the appearance of a series of terraces. Why would the Lord see this tower as a threat? It is because this tower was more of a machine than a building. It is believed that it was some sort of technology that was designed to tap into other worlds or dimensions. It is also believed by some that this ancient Babylonian technology still existed during the time of Saddam Hussein and was confiscated during the Iraqi war. This technology has surfaced in our present time in the form of particle collision technology. CERN, the European Council for Nuclear Research, has constructed what is called the LHC, Large Hadron Collider. I'll not go into the details of this machine. CERN, in conducting their particle collision events, have stated that they expect that they might create wormholes or doors which could lead to parallel universes. The Director for Research and Scientific Computing at CERN was quoted as saying, out of this door might come something. Sin even has an image at the front of their headquarters of Shiva, the god of destruction, doing the dance of destruction inside what looks like a portal. Shiva in other cultures is known as Abaddon or Apollyon. Remember him? At the recent Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, the opening ceremony featured a giant devilish bull, but perched in the midst of that opening show was the ziggurat. The powers that be are poised to unleash the hordes of hell upon an ignorant and unsuspecting humanity. Could it be that should the attempts of men succeed and they tap into parallel dimensions, that the angels of the river Euphrates, the creatures of the bottomless spit, and the beings from the spiritual realm will gain free access to our world? Could it be that spirits have already been released, hence the undeniable corruption, confusion, and chaos that is plaguing our time. I don't think it a coincidence that after the four fallen angels of the Euphrates are released, that the hearts of men will be so hardened that they will not repent of four major sins, Revelation 9 and 21. Neither repented they of their murders, nor their sorceries, nor their fornication, nor their thefts. Four sins, four angels. Friends, the time is drawing near. 
the Bible tells us in Revelation 19 and 10 that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The prophecies are being fulfilled before our very eyes. Only those that truly believe in the name of Christ will be able to stand in that day and would be counted worthy to escape the wrath of the Lamb. Now think about that.